We begin tonight with the classroom controversy first reported on Cairo 7. There is a planned protest tomorrow. And good evening, I'm Monique Minglavin. I'm Steve Rabel. Two respected teachers resigned from Kennedy Catholic High School. Supporters say it's because of their sexual orientation. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Burien. Debbie, this issue goes beyond the Kennedy School community. Steve, this ribbon is an example of that made by a Highline teacher who has nothing to do with Kennedy Catholic to show his support. All of it shows how this is affecting people on all sides of this issue. A ribbon's a nice little token. They are creating rainbow ribbons. To support the members of our LGBTQ plus community. Making protest signs. It is very saddening to see the community that I'm growing up and learning from to be setting this example for incoming freshmen. A community mobilizing to fight the decision that led to this. Two well-regarded Kennedy Catholic High School educators loading up their vehicles after cleaning out their desks. English teacher Paul Danforth and soccer coach Michelle Beatty forced out, say their supporters, because both Beatty and Danforth recently got engaged to their same-sex partners. It's sad and it's disappointing. Aaron and Leah Sinki Rona, parents of a Kennedy Catholic senior and a younger child who identifies as non-binary, say the school's administrators have mishandled this. It would be nice to maybe given an option to voice our concerns. We just weren't given, um, given a voice. I would like to see some major changes in the administration at Kennedy. You can't be a teacher uh, if, you're, if you go against one of the core beliefs of, of your Catholic Church. Mark Melosha, executive director of the Family Policy Institute and a practicing Catholic, says the school and the church were within their rights to seek the teacher's resignations. That's what's called a, a religious freedom in America. It's to practice and believe your, uh, your faith the way you believe it. Now, there are three different protests set for tomorrow at 9 a.m. outside the Archdiocese of Seattle. An hour and a half later, the students inside are supposed to be holding a sit-in. Then at 1 o'clock, they are to come out here, join their parents, teachers, and supporters of these teachers out here for a rally. Now, we did get a chance to get look at the letter that the school sent to parents. They say no students will suffer reprisals because they are participating in any of these protests. We, of course, will be here, too. Reporting live in Burien, Deborah Horn, Caro 7 News.